You ever wonder if these natural sugar substitutes or sugar alternatives are good for you? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a quick uh, little video about sugar substitutes, but along with uh, a low carb diet or carnivore diet, as well as alcohol consumption. I'm going to do a real quick background here. Um, we enjoy our wine, we've enjoyed uh, our uh, low carb seltzers for a long time, and after a while, uh, you know, sometimes we drink many days in a row, not exorbitantly, not till we pass out, but you know, a couple drinks um, for pretty extended periods of time and after a while when you you know you've been drinking for a lot of your life you start feeling a pain in here i don't know what it was i called it a liver problem but uh, it may not be it could be pancreas or gallbladder i don't know so i have been you know abstaining from alcohol for for quite a while now uh you know take a week off have a have a drink on friday night and then take another week off i've been feeling really good uh, in terms of whatever <laughs> pain has been bothering me. So I, I've kind of listened to my body and said, I'm not going to, uh, drinking, I've correlated it to drinking. I don't know if it's causation or something else. Maybe I'm terminally ill. I don't know. But um, by abstaining from alcohol, my, the pain and discomfort has gone away. However, I, I want to bring in uh, an important point about these sugar substitutes. We don't eat sugar anymore, like table sugar, sucrose, um, or we don't even eat fruit or anything. So what I have found very interesting is, you know, let's say I haven't had a, any alcohol for a week and my side doesn't hurt anymore. I, I had some of this low carb ice cream in the, in the freezer and I, I had a, I don't know, a quarter pint, you know, a few ounces. And I felt the pain again. And that leads me to believe that there's something in these uh, sugar substitutes, whether it's erythritol, uh, xylitol, or malitol, which is one of them that kind of makes you crap in your pants, or monk fruit. One of these sugar substitutes, it does something with the liver and, and the, this part of your digestive system that I think it's not good for you. Um, Maybe it's not good for you while you're low carb. Maybe it's not good for you while you, uh, maybe you had some heavy alcohol in your system um, in the last year or so. But I think the, sh the, the sugar, it's definitely these fake sugars, or I call them fake, they're natural, whatever you want to call them. I think something in these sugars is detrimental to part of your digestive system, and I recommend that people, you know, look into it. I don't know what studies are done. I can't believe most studies, but this is personal experience, and I really think that uh, if I feel that same pain I get after a heavy night of drinking and whatever damage I did to my own internal organs, it's happening with these sh artificial sugar substitutes. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm, I'm cutting them out completely. I don't want to feel that pain. I think it might be the malitol if I had to pick one, and that's in the Sola ice cream. Uh, but I don't think uh, I should be putting any of these tricky uh, sugar substitutes in my body, and I don't think you should either. So that's it. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Let me know what you think about this, and I'll see you next video.